what I've noticed is in times of personal crisis, we tend to go into survival mode, don't we? And when we're in survival mode, we don't necessarily practice the things that we normally do that keep us connected, attuned to the invisible. We don't practice the things we normally do to keep us engaged in life, to be in joy, enjoying life. So we have to be more conscious when, when we're in crisis and personally and also feeling the crises in the world. Um, we have, you know, there's so many ways and we all have our own unique ways of attuning prayer, meditation, ritual, yoga, many, many ways, collective worship as we are doing here now in this moment. But whatever it is to lift ourselves back up. Yesterday when I was walking, I saw a hawk. He circled all around me and he stayed with me for a long time in my walk. So I had the opportunity to just relish in the beauty of his flight. He was gliding on the uplifting current. And then at times that he started going down, he would flap his wings ever so gracefully to lift himself back up and glide again effortlessly, gracefully. And I thought, it's just like us. We can glide on the uplifting field of the spirit of the one who dwells, the beloved. We can glide uplifted by that presence effortlessly, easily. And when we find ourselves going down, we have to uplift again. We have to infuse ourselves with that spirit that we know that we need in order to stay in a place of love and compassion and for ourselves and for others and a place of being able to be of service to the world, to pour out unconditional love, we have to let it in. And it comes from the invisible. So we have to always open to that. We know that, all of us know that, but I think in times of crisis, I know for me, I forget that's what I need more than anything. That's what I need more than food. It's what I need more than anything. And then to surrender and let go, as the saying says, let go and let God, to place whatever's happening for us on the altar, if you will, um, knowing that there are many things we don't know and don't understand but we are held in the arms of the beloved all the time. Another thing that I've noticed is, um, that happens for me in times of crisis is that I forget to be fully engaged in my own humanity. So deeply connected to the divine, but also fully, fully engaged in my own humanity, the beauty and wonder of having a human body to enjoy the, the, we are surrounded always with wonder and awe, peace and love, to take it all in and to fully enjoy that, to walk in the sunshine, to listen to the birds singing, to enjoy the stars at night and the gentle breezes, human touch, all the things that we have available to us as a human to really relish that experience of being human instead of trying to escape from the world, to be more fully engaged in the world and in our own life and to love ourselves in it, to see what we need to take care of ourselves and to do that, to fill ourselves up. What feeds you? Do that. 